Now, uh, the House GOP Conference Chair, Republican Congresswoman Kath Kathy McMorris Rogers. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us. Great to be with you. Um, play this out for me. I noticed uh, you guys stuck to your guns when it came to uh, the deduction for state local taxes, that that, 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 that is not going to be allowed, uh, maybe as some sort of a, a bond for those who were really feeling bad about this, uh, $10,000, up to $10,000 that they can write off for property tax and the like. But a lot of them in those states, a lot of folks in those states are, are going to owe taxes. What do you tell them? Well, we, we're about everyone in this country seeing tax relief. And so we're, we continue to work through those details, but we are very excited about this day. There's a lot of momentum. And as you think about no matter who you are in this country, whether you're a single mom or a small business owner, you know, we want to give you tax relief. We want uh, you to have bigger paychecks and, uh, and more take-home pay. But in those big states, what I, I mentioned, Congressman, that, that yes. will unlikely happen, right? Well, we, uh, when you look at the doubling of the standard deduction, when you look at some of the other provisions, you know, we're still working through it, but our goal is for everyone to have tax relief. I think it's important to remember that these are the high tax states at the local level, at the state and local level. These are very high tax states, and we're focusing on federal income taxes. Uh, but we, we want everyone in this country to experience tax relief in this package. All right. When you look at the various rate levels and brackets, um, how much wiggle room will there be then between the House and the Senate? I mean, I know the Senate Finance Committee, Congressman, has been working on one area, while the House Ways and Means has been working on its plan. But are those rough brackets outlined as they'll likely end up being? I believe so. There's been a lot of work put into getting us to this place. Uh, work between the House, the Senate, and the administration. We, we agreed on the, the framework several weeks ago uh, that largely laid out those tax brackets. And our goal has been, when we launched it today, that we would be pulling in the same direction. And I, you know, later on today, I'll be headed down to the White House with President Trump, where we are going to be doing another um, overview of the legislation and coming together. We, we have momentum. We want to keep the momentum going. We believe that this is going to have, it's just going to be, it's going to be an economic boom uh, for America, but it's also going to help every family. It is, it is pro-family and it's pro-economic growth. <coughs> So uh, I take it when you do meet with the president later today, Congressman, that, that, that uh, he is on board with some of the key provisos you have here. He was very much concerned about taking away any of the, the, the tax saving status you get with 401k contributions and the like. I noticed that was kept out of this. Uh, he really didn't telegraph too much how he felt about the provision to remove state and local tax uh, deductions, which would be a, obviously a, a pain in the neck for those in high tax states. Is it your sense that he is on board with most of these uh, provisos here? Yes, it is my sense that uh, the president is on board. He's been very engaged. He's been pushing us. He wants it. He wanted this done. Uh, he, he wants it done, and he's echoed uh, our sentiment in the House that it needs to be done by Christmas. Uh, we want to get this tax relief in place for families and small businesses all across this country so we can get the, the results, so we can get more jobs created in this country. And small businesses are the economic engine. That's where the jobs are created. And we, and we prioritize small businesses that have had the highest effective tax rate of anyone in America. They've been ones really shorter, uh, shouldering the tax burden. We also want families uh, and the doubling of the standard deduction from 12,000 to 24,000. Your first 24,000 is tax free. We want everyone to be dreaming again and, and to have more money in their pockets so that they can decide how best to spend those dollars. And, and that's where we've really been working hard with the president, with the Senate, uh, with our members in the House to answer all the questions, get the feedback, but be able to largely be in agreement as we move forward so that we can get this on the president's desk by Christmas. You know, uh, your colleague, uh, Sean Duffy, was on our air with um, my, my friend Stuart Varney talking about, well, we're, we're maybe make this retroactive. How likely is that? Well, one thing you should know is if uh, we get this in place, if we... Uh, if we get if the president signs this by Christmas, immediately in January, everyone will start seeing a higher paycheck because uh, what is being currently pulled out of your your check is going to uh, be reduced. So it would go into effect immediately on January 1st, 2018, and families and individuals will see that.
All right, so it's not a retroactive issue, but you would notice it as soon as the new year that these tax tables would take effect, and, right. and you would see that differential then. Uh, then, then uh, finally, I did want to get your, your take on what this means for businesses and all. We can get in the weeds here on the pass-through thing and then and the 25 percent for smaller businesses and the like, and they were... There were walls set up to prevent a lot of very wealthy individuals, uh, you know, from moving to that rate so that they could sort of find an advantage for themselves. You, you've taken that out, but critics have already said what you've done in the process is made that rate unrealistic, that it's not going to be 25 percent, that it will likely be significantly higher than that. What do you say? Well, our, our goal is to make sure that small businesses are getting relief. Uh, and. Our calculation is that this will be the largest relief for our small businesses since World War II. They will be paying the lowest rates uh, since World War II. Uh, they are our economic engine. Now, the provisions, right, as we are launching today, it, it includes a short firm and a long firm, and, right. and small businesses would have an option. We want to hear from small business business owners as to how they, what they like, and if it is. Uh, and we want to get that feedback. Uh, so this might be an area where we need to continue to work on some of the details. Um, as the House GOP conference chair, and you have a lot of responsibility here, so I, uh, first of all, I appreciate the time you took just to chat with us, but is it your sense that all the efforts you and your colleagues took to get Democrats on board, including make this not look too friendly to the upper income, which it is not, I mean, the, 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 the rich will still pay. In fact, they, many of them could pay more. Uh, will we'll guarantee you any Democratic votes. Do you think that for all that effort, you'll get a, a Democratic uh, vote support here? Well, I hope so. I hope they see that this is both pro-family and pro-economic growth. Um, we want everyone to have an opportunity for a better life, to reach their full potential. And part of that is lifting the tax burden that we currently have in this country. We see jobs being go, you know, going overseas, companies that are becoming foreign companies that were American-made companies. So this is our time. People have been waiting a long time, and I would welcome the Democrats to join us in this effort. This, um, it's been long overdue. It has huge potential, and we need them all to be a part of it. As uh, chair of the Republican conference, I've been uh, traveling to different states. We've been holding faces of tax reform forums. The feedback has been so positive. I was in North Carolina, Michigan. I'm headed to Virginia uh, this Friday and then to Pennsylvania. People are, are, are so encouraged that Congress would be taking this action. And I might mention, Neil, we've also started a, a text messaging. If you want to text tax reform, to 50589, you can join us directly and give us your feedback, but also get the latest information. All right. Uh, Kathleen Morris Rogers, thank you very, very much. The House GOP Conference Chair. Very good seeing you.